Hey everybody, it's Ivy, and today I'm going to be doing a hair transformation video. I got this beautiful, you guys, it's so pretty, lace frontal curly unit from Jerry She Hair. I will have a link below. You guys, this hair is so pretty. It's so cute, but I wanted to give you guys something different today. I was like, you know what, I'm going to take this beautiful wig and come up with a two-in-one style. So... I literally transformed this wig into beautiful locks, you guys. Oh, my God. I loved it so much. And I love the versatility of being able to take the locks out, wear my wig, take my wig off. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, keep on watching. It's, it's super easy, you guys. Super easy. So here's the inside of the wig. And this is your standard, regular lace frontal unit. Um, lace frontal in the front. Tracks in the back, elastic bands, your basic standard wig. And this is um, how I sectioned it off. So I, d I totally separated the frontal from the back. And um, I left an area out in the front. I wanted the whole bohemian, carefree vibe going on. So I did leave out hair in the front. I also sectioned off the part that are going to be my individual locks. And in the back, all I did was corn roll the hair and sew it together. In the back, we're going to be doing traditional um, crochet locks. And in the front, we're going to be doing them in the individual style. So the locks I use are the free tress starter lock and hipster lock. So I use the starter lock in 18 inches and a 1B. And you guys, I love these locks so much because they're unique. They come with like the kinky hair already at the uh, tip of the lock. And when you wrap this around your lock after you loop it through, it literally hides the knot. Like it looks so small and seamless like at the root because it comes with the hair already built in. And it's easier to use because these locks help you skip a step, okay? And um, if you do want these locks longer, you can extend the um, starter lock. Love the loop, everything. It's just a really nice lock. Um, the formation of it is very natural. It's gorgeous, you guys. And these right here are the ends. I also got these locks in another color in a T27 that I wanted to show you guys. And this is the hipster lock. And I really, really like these, you guys. They are so cute. But for today's look, I did decide to go with only the starter lock. I do like to go back and wrap my locks with the free tress braid hair. And um, this is the water wave braid hair. And I just love this, you guys. It's my favorite to wrap my locks with. Um, it just works easily. I have this in 22 inches and it's braid. So right here in the back, I did go ahead and crochet some of the locks on to my unit already. And I used about two packs, two to three packs at this point. You want to make sure to space these out well. Make sure to space these out well because you don't want your units to become bulky or become too small. So make sure you space them out well. Don't add too much in the back because it'll make it lumpy. I honestly think about three packs to do this back section is enough for this unit. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys exactly how I attach the locks on using the regular crochet method. So what I do is go ahead and stick my crochet hook through the um, braid and then I open it up, loop it onto my lock, close it and slide it through. And then I pull everything through and then I put my crochet hook back through the loop, grab the end of my lock, close it and pull it through. And I like using this method because it's way easier um, than trying to squeeze the end of the lock through the loop. If you use this method, it'll go way, way faster, you guys. Trust me. So um, now I'm just going to separate the hair at the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap my lock. It's that simple, you guys, to do the regular crochet method. Just go ahead and wrap, wrap, wrap until it's no hair left. So um, it is optional to use the free tress braid hair at this point. You can literally wrap your entire lock. But I decided to go ahead and just um, use the hair that was already on the lock. Just so you guys can see exactly how that looks. I still think it gives it a very natural appearance. But if you do wrap the entirety of the lock with the free tress braid hair, it gives it an even more natural appearance. Also, if you decide to use the free tress braid hair to wrap your lock, 
these locks will get longer when you wrap the hair for some reason they just um stretch out and you get about two extra inches two to three extra inches in length and um i'm just showing you guys the same method i'm just repeating the same thing until i complete the whole back portion of the wig you want to make sure you crochet the dreads all the way to the like top okay um because you don't want any large gaps because uh, you know it is crocheted in the back it's not individual and we need it to camouflage the braids underneath so that is what it looks like um i'm gonna go ahead and finish that little section and i'll be right back so now i'm just taking down the sections on the frontal to get ready to do my individual braids for my individual locks so you just want to make um the braids a nice size uh you can do this really random you guys it doesn't have to be like super neat i hate like super neat super crispy locks i feel like they look better when they're a little messy so you just want to do um braids individuals you can do twists you can do whatever i just feel like braids um hold a little bit better so they don't slip off of your unit. Um, but, you know, do what you can. But braids work best for me. And I'm literally just repeating the same process until I complete the entire area and it's braided. So once everything is braided, this is how it looks. Okay. And that front section, we're going to leave that alone. That's going to be our loose little um carefree bohemian look that's gonna be in the front so just leave that alone and this is how the braids look okay so um now i'm gonna show you how i attach the locks and you just want to go through the root of the braid grab the loop close it pull everything through go back through the uh loop and grab the end of the lock and pull it through the same exact um method as the back you guys you want to separate the kinky hair and go ahead and wrap it so you can hide your knot. This time you want to hold the braid and also hold the lock while you're wrapping the kinky hair around both, okay? And um, once you're done wrapping all of the kinky hair, you do have to go in and add some of the free tress braid hair so you can wrap your lock and none of the braid is exposed. So... That's one thing to keep in mind when using these um, starter locks. If you have longer hair and you're doing individual locks, you're going to have to, um, you're going to need the um, braiding hair to complete your lock, okay? Because if not, you'll have braid exposed. I literally just placed the hair on the lock and I began to twist in the direction that I was already twisting in while holding the other end of the braiding hair. And once I twist that like about a good, mm, I want to say 10 times, I go in with the other section of braiding hair. I kind of combine them and then I begin to wrap until I've completed the entire lock. OK, so that's the way I like to do it. It's really easy. Um, it doesn't slip. And um, you can make this tight, loose, tight and loose. You can do a variety of things so you can have that nice. um you know, distress type of lock. If that's the look you're going for, that's the type of look I like. And um, that's the look these locks already come with. They already come kind of distressed. They don't have that super neat uniform look, which I like. I hate when the locks come um, too uniform, you guys. So you just want to follow the same steps on all of your braids until you complete them all. Um, it's really simple, you guys. It took me about... I want to say three hours to complete this wig. Um, I really been wanting some locks again. And you guys, I, I just love this idea of making a, um, lock wig. I'm going to make another one that's really, really long, but I wanted one that was kind of on the, um, shorter side just to see how it will look on me. And I actually really like the shorter length dreads on me. But um, it, it came out so pretty, you guys. And it's up to you if you want to go back and wrap all of your locks. But I didn't. And I still think it came out really cute. And I did take out that section in the front. And this is going to give us our little distressed bohemian look. I am going to go in and um, wet that a bit. 
just so the curls can go ahead and define. And um, I just, I like how that looks, like the curls in front of the locks. I, I don't know, it just gives it a really cute look to me. So make sure um, when you go through and add your water, you do want to put a little bit of conditioner or something on there just so the hair can um, curl back up and also hold its curl. I didn't do that <laughs> in the video, but I'm letting you guys know in case you um, do decide to do your locks this way and leave hair out and stuff. So I did go ahead and put the wig on. I am gonna tack this down using got to be. And um, one thing I wanted to say about this lace on this unit, even though this isn't like HD lace, the wig is still very like seamless. Like the lace literally melts. Um, It just looked so good, you guys. Like I loved this lace, I loved the placement of the wig it's a really good tip to leave hair out in the front when you're doing like a lock uh unit or a braided unit because it helps with the um customizing of it looking like more natural so that's another reason why i didn't want my locks to be all the way at the um you know all the way at the beginning of the hairline of the unit i wanted it to you know be more natural right there so I'm just, um, you know, spraying on my got to be and blow drying it to make sure everything is nice and melty. OK, and I did this on all sides in sections. I always like to put my units on in sections. It's really important to put like a, a braided or a lock unit on on in sections because it'll be so hard um, to do this <laughs> without cutting it like I did. So, um, yeah, once you're done melting it down you just want to move your locks out the way and then we're going to cut off the lace okay so i will have these scissors linked below because I, I love these scissors they're perfect for lace and um with hd lace and using got to be you sometimes have to go back and press the lace back in with the got to be after you've cut it okay so um that's what i'm doing when you guys see me uh pressing the lace back I'm just um, placing got to be on it with my fingertips, okay? And I did this all over my hairline just so everything could be nice and seamless. And now we're going to go in and do our baby hairs. I'm not doing Arrogance Hay Method today. I just wanted um, pretty much gel baby hairs for this unit. I am going to cut off the areas of the hair that I want to be my baby hairs. And I'm just using regular old Eco Styler gel to gel these down okay pretty basic not a lot going on and um once i got my baby hair you know popping i did want to have these like up in a ponytail in the top and the rest hanging down so right here you see me just um you know pulling it up into a ponytail super easy and i am going to use one of my locks from the back just to wrap around and secure the ponytail i want you to let me know how you like this look in the comment section below and hopefully you watch the entire video because it's a surprise here at the end so i hope you guys made it to the end of this video i have a surprise for you guys three people are going to be able to win six packs of the starter locks color of their choice okay i'm picking three people you have 48 hours to enter. The rules are you must like this video. You must be subscribed to me on here. I want you guys to follow Shake and Go on Instagram and also follow me on Instagram. So those are the rules. You can enter as many times as you want, you guys, right under this video. I'm going to pick the winners at random. To enter, all you have to do is comment, enter me, okay? So how do you guys like it, you guys? I was loving the look. I love that I made this wig because I just get in these modes where I want locks now. And I don't know, you guys. I love it. Let me know what you think. Please don't forget to thumb this up, comment below, and subscribe. And don't forget to enter that giveaway. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.